What's up guys, this is Hatai7 RCT Gaming bringing you another video for you guys. I hope everybody's uh, doing well out there, uh, staying safe and healthy. Today, right away, we're going to do another Back to Basics, but this time around we're going to be covering the first indie run and gun genre. Now this one, of course, uh, is going to be followed later on by the beat em ups one which is one of my favorites as well let's go into that right away because hopefully after this goes up um you guys will be able to give me some good recommendations for other run and gun titles just like you've done so far with the shoot em ups and the fighting games one i appreciate that a uh, whole bunch uh, really looking forward to your favorites out there so leave a comment down below so starting off we're gonna go into retro mini neo to select the first few and of course we're gonna go into arcade right away start looking for our first one first one is going to be this quirky title right here called Charlie Ninja so let's go right away into this one just to start getting warmed up okay so I have attack button on A jump on the okay that's simple enough and you have the stealth when you press both of them all right I see there's a timer in here so let's get to it a nice double jump to it as well that's kind of cool oh of course is laughing Right on time, too. I made a ninja move there. I have no idea how I did that, so... Controls are really good on this one. The animation and art style is really cool. I think that's the boss. Can't miss the loop. Of course, given that the whole point of this series is to play with the arcade stick, I am playing with the arcade stick. I know that. The clicks from the joystick and buttons are pretty audible. Damn, this title ended up being a lot more fun than I initially thought. Fight. 
Uh oh, I could. Okay, I have one more life left. I'm not using the the stealth. I'm not timing it right. No, I can't. I can't leave this boss hanging. I give up. Pretty colorful title, I have to admit. All right, soldier. Okay, so this time around we have kind of like a military setting. Looks like a more comical rendition of Metal Slug. Not doing a very good job of avoiding getting hit. I don't know if I'm missing something. I know I have that invincibility thing. But it is kind of hard to time. Alright. Let's see if I can make it from the top side here. bit more practice but looks like a fun game I'm gonna come back to this one very soon so I see what else here we can find I had another one in mind this time a bit more a bit more familiar now, of course, I cannot talk about Run and Gun without mentioning at least one of the Neo Geo titles. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to set up here the Two Metal Slug 2. Oh, yeah. It's Neo Geo time. to my joystick where yeah got jump right there next to it now if I wanted I could actually go into the settings and set it up the way I prefer playing these games is with the four button layout like a cross what the hell killed me But I'm going to keep it as it is for now. Seems to be functional. Now, uh, the grenades. There you go. What more can I say about this one? This one is, in this series, is loved by so many gamers, both in the arcades when they came out, as of course those who have the Neo Geo console at home. Of 
course, one of the signature traits of a metal slug joint are these amazingly huge bosses. This, of course, being primarily an arcade game, was designed to make you pop in more quarters, as I am going to have to do if this keeps up. Even though I'm down to my last life. No prisoners. Shameful. Shameful. Now, another one I want to cover, and it's probably the last one I'm going to cover from here is Gun Force, of course, made by Irem, famous mostly because of R-Type. Uh, also had a few really cool run and gun games, this one being one of them. So you're gonna go straight into this one. So far, of course, the experience playing with the arcade stick is freaking amazing. I mean, super cool, super responsive. Everything, you know, goes the way that you want it. Not a lot of input lag, even though I know this stick still has a little bit to it, but compared to the controller, Oh. Come on, jump, dude. Bazooka. Oh. That was quick. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Nope. Nope. My reaction time is way off. I don't know what the hell is wrong with him. Damn it. Now we're talking. I'm getting some good weapons here. But I'm getting shot in anyways.
That guy is still alive. I thought I killed him. All right. Let's get out of this one transition into the next few. All right. From here, I got to go into genres. And of course, select the running gun ones. Now this is one that's very, very colorful, very, very nice and fun. Of course, it's from Konami and also from the same people, I, I figure, that um, did Sunset Riders. So I don't know if this is a play on that or not, if they're in any way related or something, but... Go with Montana. All right. I see I have my first attack, which is using both buttons to do like that ramming attack. The same kind of feeling as uh, Charlie Ninja, but this one, of course, much more detailed. The graphics, and you also have the ability to shoot up, which in these games are very much needed. Come over here, check it. Oh, damn it! Uh oh. I got flattened. How come the attack didn't work? Oh, there it goes. Just did the timing was off. There you go. And the boss fight, of course. Stay right there. Oh! There you go. Stay right where you are. And take a whole bunch of bullets. Damn, that was too close. Don't die, don't die. Almost there. Almost there. All right. Okay, let's see where can we go. Niagara Desert. Our boss is Saddle Sore. Okay, so this is kind of like a shoot 'em up section. special weapon. Oh! Let's 
loving it so far very imaginative graphics killer bees now the reason I wanted to do run and gun separately from beat em ups is that even though they share some of the things in common like going usually from left to right in the gameplay they're you know, there's the, the, the difference, the main um, difference you're going to see is that instead of using your fists and, and, you know, punches and kicks, you are primarily shooting. So it wouldn't be right to just mix those two and better to have them separate. And this apparently is Saddle Sore. So that one gave me some health back, but took it away. Oh, I have an attack. I did not know that. Let's see if I get one more credit, one more credit. Yeah, I use the same guy. No, I actually got... Okay. one hit not making that much damage and getting hit a lot I wonder if there's a sweet spot here where I can just shoot away sometimes you find that in some bosses not here. <laughs> Not here, though. Yeah, I can't damage the balloon. So you just have to pick away at him once he shoots and just get out of the way when that barrel starts rolling. He's almost there though. Yep, got him. That is one crispy saddle sore. Uh, I think that actually wasn't saddle sore. Yeah, that's gonna be all. Freaking amazing game. A lot more. A lot more fun than I was expecting. So let's go back here and do the final one for today. Which, of course, happens to be one of my favorites. Shock Troopers. Another one from the Neo Geo stable. And this one, I have played it. I think I've also at one point streamed it. Select soldiers. 
and of course I am going to pick up the bodacious babe Angel. Ready, boys? With the weird voice. Sally out, second squad. Okay, I have everything right here. in the same direction, which is very helpful. Is that all right so that is going to be it guys for the run and gun section of back to basics now what are the games that you would uh, recommend for me to play and, and showcase here and uh, for this genre let me know in the comment section below please like and subscribe thanks a lot for the support and i will catch you next time take care <laughs>